What's up everyone, this is Live Talk is Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can control your iPhone only using your eyes. Now this is an amazing app in the App Store, so I can't wait to show you guys. Let's get started. So this is an application that will let you open up apps on your iPhone only by looking at the device. It'll let you browse the internet, watch YouTube, and you don't even have to tap a single button or anything on your phone. This is mind-blowing. Now before we get started, you do have to be on iOS 12 for this to work, and you have to be on an iPhone 10 or up. Now, because I myself have an iPhone 10, but I'm on iOS 11 and I don't want to lose my jailbreak, huge thanks to a family member for letting me use their iPhone 10, which is on iOS 12, in order for this to work. So if you guys don't remember the game Rainbrow, it basically allowed you to move your eyebrows up or down and it had a little emoji on the screen that would move up or down depending on whether or not you moved your eyebrows. I believe it's called Hawkeye Access. I will have it linked down below in the description. I actually didn't find this app. I found it off of another YouTuber. I think he speaks Spanish or Russian. I don't know the language, but I will link him down below. He's got like 500,000 subscribers. He's big YouTuber. So go check him out. He found this, I think. So yeah, it's crazy. So what's going to happen is when you open up the app, it needs to scan your face. Now I skipped this feature just because I don't want to show my face, but then it's going to have you do a few tests. You're going to have to smile and then you're going to have to blink. And all of this is tracking your eyes, which is crazy. And what's really cool is while you're navigating throughout the setup process, it actually prefers if you use your face, which is pretty cool. Now you can tap it with your finger if it's just taking too long, but that defeats the whole purpose of this. So what's really cool is it tests like if you want to scroll down or something. So it takes you through like a little setup process. So you need to move your eyes to the other corner of the screen so that way you can calibrate it properly. And what's cool is once you're inside of the application, you are able to recalibrate it if it's messed up. Now before we get started, I just want to mention that I'm at a weird angle because I don't want to show my face, but on top of that, I have a camera in the way. So my demonstration of this isn't going to be that good. But you can see I just opened up Instagram, which is so cool. And if you move your eyes in the corner of the screen, you can go ahead and close out of the app. So you can see my eyes moving on the screen right now. And once I hover over something, it'll actually open up. So this is so cool, and I think the amount of time it takes to open up something is just enough that if you accidentally looked at it, you can move away. But at the same time, if you do purposely look at it and you want to open it up, it'll pretty much open up at a good speed. So what's really cool is you can leave the application if you so choose. You can recalibrate it. You can open up some settings. So jumping inside of Apple's kind of website, you can actually just view the nice animations. You can even scroll down. I have my eyes all the way at the bottom, as you can see right now. And oh my goodness, this is so cool. This is all on an iPhone, guys. No jailbreak required or anything. This is just one application. And I just exited out of the app using my eyes. This is crazy. So I'm going to move over to the next page. Boom, done. It, it feels really weird, but after a little bit, you'll get the hang of it. Now, the only issue is, like I mentioned earlier, my eyes aren't really properly synced with this just because I'm at a weird angle, I'm holding the phone at a weird angle, and there's a camera in the way. So I'm not really doing a good job representing this, but I really do think you guys should try this out. The application is surprisingly free. The whole point is to show you guys like what type of applications we're going to be seeing in the future, mainly because of iOS 12 and potentially iOS 13. So. Hopefully you guys go and check this out. Thank you so much for watching. I got a bunch of really cool videos coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. And as always, peace.